Well, good evening. So, th this evening it's random stuff. Uh, I mean, really random. Um, so, I was watching T. Takara 73, uh, his video on his uh, Tomica Star Wars cars. Uh, and if you haven't checked out uh, T. Takata 73's channel, head on over there. I'll try and put a link down below. Uh, and uh, he does a lot of really nice high-end um, die-cast, uh, like Kyosho and TLV and and others, and uh, uh, really knows his stuff. I mean, um, he does his research. I, I'm impressed, and I'm not easily impressed. So uh, him and I got into a little bit of an exchange back and forth because uh, he was reviewing his... Uh, uh, Tomica um, Star Wars stuff and you know, I made a comment well you know you should see my Doctor Who video where I showed off uh, the TARDIS and Tom Baker and uh, I mentioned the other video where I got the very generous beautiful uh, st uh, Doctor Who collectibles from Saul of Saul's Diecast Di Odyssey uh, and um you know he's he's a, he's a he seems like a great guy. Uh, I like watching his videos and I like uh, commenting back and forth with him. So uh, I've had this one for a while and I had no reason to open it. I didn't have a Star Wars theme, uh, and just now I realize I have the Mandalorian uh, transit van, but I'm not going to dig that up. Um, and then this one. I uh, wanted to get multiples of this. I have that carded set, and um, I found this one today. I had to stop in, and uh, this was <laughs> this is the only new car in my Walmart. Well, new, and it has a damaged blister, so I think it was replaced anyway. So we, you know, I'm gonna crack that open. And I had ordered this lovely thing a few weeks ago, and it arrived. And we're gonna open this up and go over this and compare it to some mainline versions. So uh, let's start off with the Star Wars, 1977, Mark Hamill, uh, the original Star Wars movie, the X-34 Land Speeder. Um, and, you know, I don't do fantasy castings, and then I pull out Doctor Who and uh, my favorite fantasy casting, the Carbonator. Um, and the Batmobile, you know, but is this a fantasy casting? <sighs> you know, it's not even really a car, but we're going to open that up just for the hell of it. Uh, I mean, who, I, I've only met a few people in my life that have never seen Star Wars. And those people are mostly folks under the age of, of 30. Um, and when I say Star Wars, I mean the original Star Wars uh, Episode Four: A New Hope, which is actually the first movie. Uh, but you guys know that. I don't have to explain that to you guys. So this is pretty goofy, pretty cool. Uh, I just realized as I opened that up, it's too wide probably to fit in any of my normal cases. So your land speeder. Uh, Lucasfilm and lighting, GRX. 16, I don't know what GRX 16 is, copyright 2020, made in Malaysia, Hot Wheels, it's got little tiny wheels, so it'll it'll roll, maybe not across this mat too well, but it'll, it'll roll, and uh, I think it's hysterical that it has a, a little bit of patina and weathering, you know, like rust and paint chips and stuff, uh, and it uh, looks like the engine cover is missing on one side, um, this is one of those things, it's strictly nostalgia. You know, this goes along basically with, uh, the whole Doctor Who thing. You know, um, I was, in, I was in comments, uh, I've, I've had interactions with several people. I mean, Sal, uh, is a Doctor Who fan and, uh, a couple of other folks are like, oh, well, yeah, I saw this and I, you know, some people know the new Doctor Who, some people only know... Tom Baker, um, you know, I'm not going to bore you with the history of the TV show. Google it. It's uh, it's the bomb, as the kids used to say. I don't think the kids say that anymore. 
uh, what the hell would I know about what the kids say? <laughs> I've been a kid for so long, it's not funny. Uh, so we opened that one. And this poor damaged car. Now, I mean, I remember teasing this whole, I have uh, the six cars. And I said, oh, I'm not going to open them because I like the card art. I want to keep them in like, you know, a collected set, which is not my norm. But since this card and blister are damaged anyway, let's pop this sucker off. So, um, you know, as I said, this is the Matchbox 2019 Mustang. And, uh, you know, nice tampo is there. The orange color isn't that great, but the interior looks to be gray. Um, nice rear tampos. This is a nice casting, you know. Um, I Too often I beat up on Mattel uh, and Matchbox, but every now and then they do it right. So there's the 2019 Matchbox um, and of course, I keep on, anytime I want to say how well Mattel does, I keep on pulling out the Hot Wheels uh, 2015 GT convertible there. And again, you know, the details are done right. The tampo, the paint, this blue is beautiful. Uh, gray plastic interior. Uh, little, you know, just a disc for the steering wheel, but, you know. But nice tampos. You know what? Let's let's compare. So the orange is Matchbox and the blue is Hot Wheels. Um, they're not the same exact casting. Well, they're they're also four year four model years apart. But that's not sufficient enough, obviously. But yeah, I mean, Matchbox did right on this one. They, they did, they did a good job, and um, I'm glad to have that one off the card. So now, I had shown uh, the Lotus Europa before, and said that when I was a kid, this was a popular Matchbox. Um, so let's take a look at this one here. So I saw this on eBay, the Matchbox. Lesney edition and this is a 2010 car collect all 2010 Lesney models but it doesn't show what they are so I don't know what they are I could look it up online and maybe I will copyright 2010 um, and the Lotus Europa is a tiny little car um, and not especially fast, but phenomenal handling. So let's get this off, off the uh, card here. I want to see if I can save the card art. And of course, I, I love these, these retro boxes. I've said it time and time again. When I was a kid, all matchboxes came in boxes. Um, there were, you know, there were no blisters, not for the esteemed matchbox. Um, they all had the boxes, and very often, um, like the little neighborhood store that I had, the boxes were uh, in a rack, and they all had the number visible on the end. And then the fella who who ran the store had the catalog uh, posted next to it, and you would look for the car you would want, then you would look for the number, and you'd slide the box out, and you knew that that car was in that box. And when you turned it around, sometimes they had a picture of it. But, um, so of course, that's why I'm nostalgic for the boxes, uh, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are. So let's take a look at this. So this is metal body, metal base um and these are pla i think these are plastic wheels but still nice authentic looking wheels um look at that uh, the the chrome bumper part of the base the little lip spoiler there in front 
Headlight Tampos, this beautiful purple paint, purple with a yellow stripes, um, almost orange yellow. Um, number six there, uh, Europa Racing, Lotus Europa Racing. Um, Europa Racing. Nice tampo details on the taillights, no number plate. But these are really small, low-to-the-ground, lightweight little cars uh, with a mid-engine, rear-wheel drive chassis. These are always neat. And, of course, when I was a little kid, there was a TV show called The Avengers. And Diana Rigg was Emma Peel. And in at least one season of the show, she drove a Lotus Europa. So that was very cool. This is a very nice feels like quality um this is a nice premium um let's hope that matchbox is on their way to read you know to achieving this level i just saw lamley's video and of course uh, everybody knows that i'm looking for that new ford capri but they're also coming out with a 1979 chevy nova and Lamley's like, oh, this brings back muscle car memories. And I'm thinking, you weren't even born in 1979. And the 79 Nova was not a muscle car. But it's a car that I'm nostalgic for because my grandfather had one. So, yeah, you know. Uh, so I have two others of these Lotus Europa. And, of course, they are from Five Packs, from Matchbox Five Packs. So there's this one in this not quite black... Dark graphite with gold stripes. Not quite the John Player livery, but still nice. With the chrome rockers, because that's part of the chrome interior. On this one, I took a paint pen and did the headlights on this. Um, and I took paint pens and did just a little red on the taillights. This is a nice, clean um, version of this. Uh, the chrome interior, you know, we can ignore because it gives us the chrome bumpers and the chrome rocker panels. Um, but this was from a five-pack. Unfortunately, I don't remember um, what the name of the five-pack was. So let's take a quick look. This is a copyright 2008. The first time, I guess, they re-released this Lotus Europa. Lotus Europa Special, 1972, which, of course, is the same thing here. Copyright 2008. And then, most recently, the last five-pack I, ha I had shown, the city... What is it? The Cafe Cruisers or the... Or the city... Coffee Cruisers 2 set. So this one appears in that one. And this is the yellow with the yellow base. Gray plastic interior gives you the gray plastic rocker panels and bumpers front and back. I have not taken a pen to these. Uh, it looks basically like they all three have the same rims. So that's not too bad. And they're like a black racing rim with a chrome rim around them and just notice that these two both have number six if anybody knows the significance of that please let me know in, co in comments the weight difference i mean this this uh lesney edition weighs twice bec uh, what this one does because of the metal base these are nice a uh, little bit of nostalgia um I don't know what these go for normally. I did pay $10 for this. Uh, maybe even $12 with shipping. So it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't it wasn't uh, $100 either. So, and, you know, uh, Lotus Europas are not common cars, but I have seen them at Concours shows. I did see them when I was uh, a small child. Uh, so they're not... Uh, incredibly rare but so these are all right hand drive models two 
two of them with the chrome interior and this one with the gray. Actually, hold on, this one here. Yeah, there's the steel steering wheel for what it is on the right-hand side. And then, uh, you know, we all learn little tips from each, from each other and from watching these videos. I mean, early on, I learned about the double-sided storage cases uh, from watching these videos. And the paint pens, uh, so in case I eventually ever do a custom like my friend Tiz keeps on saying I should do. I honestly forget which channel I saw this on, but there was somebody um, that was talking about, you know, how to store and, you know, move their cars. And um, they talked about these little tea bags. I'm like, wow, what, you know, little reusable cloth tea bags. And the cars just fit right in them and it gives them some measure of protection. So, you know, being an Amazon Prime member, <laughs> I went over there and, and um, they're quite reasonable. Um, you can go to Amazon Prime, Amazon or any retailer online and they are just called tea filters drawstring bags, uh, and they are um, roughly three inches by two and two and three quarter, I believe. Okay, um, and this package of four hundred tea filters was only seven dollars delivered. Um, so. I honestly forget whose video I saw this on, uh, but I thought, wow, that's brilliant. And I said, for $7, I, it can't, can't hurt. Um, and you just saw me and you heard me lift that double-sided case. Um, those tea bags can help prevent scratching up the paint. So all of the cars that I have in these cases, I will be putting in the tea bags and uh, get your mind out of the gutter. Um, let's keep this PG-14, guys. So, uh, what do you think of the Lotus? Uh, this is a 2010. I now have to look up the Lesney Edition series and see what else is in there. Uh, as I mentioned, um, Matchbox has a bunch of new castings coming out. I'm sure you've seen them on different channels. I just saw um, that they have a Gen 2 Land Rover Defender pickup. Uh, so, I guess 1963 or so. That's coming out in premium. I, I have to get that. Says, so, this looks like a good year for Matchbox. Um, so, like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. Uh, tell me what new Matchbox mainline or premiums you're looking forward to seeing this year. Uh, let me know what ones you already have. Uh, tell me what I should be chasing. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. This is sort of a random stuff, little bit of everything. Um, and when I uh, stop recording, I'm going to start putting some of my cars in these soft T-filter bags. So you have a great night and I'll talk to you tomorrow.